No, I'm not kidding. Take a look at this. So Canon T3i, 18135 and 70 megapixels. Right click, enhance, super resolution. All right, it's finished and... Now, is it good? Yes. Does it work in any situation or with any camera? No. Is it better than Gigapixel? Let's check. Yeah, 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 I'm Henry, a Brazilian photographer living in Italy and in this channel we talk photo, video and tech. So Adobe just released an update to Camera Raw, now it's on version 13.2 and it has a new feature called Super Resolution. In theory, it can boost up the resolution and the megapixel count of your original files up to four times. To check if it's already available to you, check if you're on version 13.2 of Camera Raw, import a picture, right click and see if you have the Enhance option. If it's there, you're good to go. Otherwise, go to your Creative Cloud app, update your Photoshop and your Camera Raw and restart your computer. It should be there when you check it again. You're gonna see tests during this video with several different cameras, but my biggest interest was to see what could I do with the old files from my Canon T3i, which was an 18 megapixels camera. All right, so let me show you how it works. You just have to drop some raw file onto Photoshop, and by default, raw files are gonna be opened directly on Camera Raw. If you're trying to import a JPEG or a TIFF, you're gonna have to do some tweaks in the configuration. You can come up to the Preferences, go to File Handling, and then under this box here, you can just go and put automatically open all supported JPEGs, automatically open all supported TIFFs. And this way, the next time you throw something into Photoshop, it's gonna open directly on Camera Raw. One important thing to notice is that the Camera Raw filter inside Photoshop does not include this option. Meaning, if you have the picture already open, either as a JPEG or a RAW, whatever, inside Photoshop, not on Camera Raw, and you come up to filter and Camera Raw filter, you're not gonna see this option. It has to be when you're importing the picture. And by the way, for now on Lightroom, you still have the old option of enhancing a picture, which is not exactly this. Okay, so now we're in the main page of Camera Raw. You can see that there's the only file here that I imported. It's a raw file from the Canon T3i, uh, shot with the 18135. And down here, you can see the size of the image and also the megapixel count, which is roughly 18 megapixels. So all we have to do is right-click the image, go here to enhance, and it's already going to be marked the super resolution option and then it's already going to be working here in the background to try to give us a preview it's done and then you can just click to see the old version and the enhanced version and just by looking this very close up detail here we can see that it's already quite enhanced but we don't have a complete idea now let's just wait for it to be processed and it's going to create a dng file in the same folder of the original one all right it's created and here we can already see a little bit of difference, but it's difficult to make a comparison this way. And funny enough, while trying to import this into Lightroom, it didn't recognize this DNG. So what I did was I saved this file inside Photoshop as a TIFF file and then imported into Lightroom to use the comparison view to be able to see it a little bit better. So let's go to Lightroom. All right, let's grab the original file and the one enhanced by Photoshop and compare them here inside Lightroom. Okay, so we get here on the left the original version and on the right the one enhanced by Photoshop. And looking like this, I can't tell much of a difference. So let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go to 100% on the original one and to 50% since it's double the size on the enhanced version. And well, from here already, we can tell that especially this part here is so much sharper in the enhanced version. It's looking pretty cool. So let's go a little bit deeper and then let's zoom in here at 200%. And on the enhanced version, we're gonna go with 100%. Yeah, and now the difference is huge. And you can say that the one on the right maybe is even a little bit over sharpened. As you can see some artifacts and a little bit some more grain in this one. But looking from afar like this, you can't really tell much of the difference. Let's take a look at other parts of the image, like this one, for example. And yeah, incredibly sharper, and also the village down here. And yeah, here is completely blurry, let's say, and this one here is much, much sharper. Okay, so it's proven to work, but is it the best way of doing it? Let's test it also with Gigapixel AI and compare to the original and also to the Photoshop version. Okay, we're back inside Lightroom and now I'm gonna compare the Gigapixel version with the original one. And again, you're gonna have on the left side the original and on the right, the one enhanced by Gigapixel. And let's do the same. Let's just zoom in here at 100%. And on the right, we're gonna go with 50. And yeah, once more, we can see that it's much sharper with the Gigapixel version. Let's dive in a little bit more and let's go at 100% on the enhanced version and 200% on the original one. And let's look at the same spot we were looking before. 
So yeah, much more detailed. Let's take a look at the village. Incredibly sharper. So now let's do a comparison between the version from Gigapixel and the one from Photoshop and let's choose which one looks best. But I think by now you know already what's the answer. All right, Gigapixel on the left and Photoshop Camera Raw version on the right. Let's go to the same spots. Okay, so now you could say that the one from Photoshop and Camera Raw is a lot sharper than the one from Gigapixel, but it introduced so many artifacts and noise on the sky and also on the rocks, on the lines, kind of everywhere. Let's take a look at some other spots. And finally at the village. And especially here, looking at the roof of these small houses, you can see how much noise was introduced in the one by Photoshop. The one from Gigapixel is so clean and smooth. And I've tried removing noise from the Photoshop version, but it just smoothens out the whole image. And then it doesn't make that much sense. You end up losing the sharpening that you introduced first. And still the result's not comparable to the Gigapixel version. Okay, so the conclusion for the first test is, for old cameras with a low megapixel count, both of them worked quite good. I prefer the version from Gigapixel, but looking until 100% zoom, both of them are pretty good and you could be using them either for social media, for printing, whatever, and it's not gonna be that much noticeable. But now let's take a look at a city shot with a professional camera to see if it's any different. All right, same procedure here. We have both shots open. On the one on the left is the original one, and the one on the right is the one enhanced by Photoshop and Camera Raw. So let's take a look at the dome of this church and the tower to see what changed. 100% on the original one and 50% on the enhanced version. And here you can see already it's quite a bit sharper, but let's dive in a little bit more. And then let's do it Photoshop version at 100% and the original version at 200%. And now it's crazy different. The super resolution version is way better than the original one. You can see that it introduced some particles and some noise everywhere, but remember how zoomed in we are. Let's take a look at the tower also. And yeah, the difference is absolutely insane. It's another picture entirely. Okay, so let's do the same. Let's compare it with Gigapixel and see if it's a little bit cleaner than this. Gigapixel on the left, Photoshop version on the right. Let's go to the dome of the church. Let's put both of them at 50%. And here it's gonna be easier if you compare the files on your own computer because it's a little bit hard to see. The one from Photoshop looks a little bit sharper, but also a little bit more noisy. But it's not as nearly as noticeable as in the picture before. Let's dive into 100%. Okay, now it's very clear that the one from Gigapixel is much cleaner and smoother than the one from Photoshop. Even if it's a little bit sharper, I still prefer the one from Gigapixel, but the performance from Photoshop enhanced resolution in this one was way better than in the other file. Looks like that when it has a little bit more information to deal with, you can go a little bit further and it's still gonna be okay. Let's see the tower. Same thing, nicer with the Gigapixel, but still very good job from the one from Photoshop and Camera Raw. So when is it gonna be noticeable? Well, on social media, I don't think at all. I posted some of these pictures on my stories on Instagram, you can check them here, and mostly people couldn't tell the difference between them, only when cropped in really heavily. Well, what about printing? Well, then definitely I think it can be useful, because after all, with twice the resolution, you can either print it much larger, or you can have a much sharper resolution, which usually we already boost when we are sending something to be printed. Would I trust to use it every single time? Mm, I don't think so. I would just do it probably if I needed to crop heavily into a picture or if I wanted to print and the original quality wasn't that perfect and I wanted just that extra touch of crispness and sharpness in the picture. Okay, let's do a final test just for fun. Imagine that instead of paying $100 to have Gigapixel or paying the Adobe subscription, you had $8,000 or euros to spare and you went out to buy a Leica M10R, a 40 megapixels camera, and took some shots with it. So this is what you could do with the Adobe Photoshop enhanced feature inside Camera Raw. So you would turn a normal 40 megapixel shot into a 164 megapixels picture with more than 15,000 pixels wide and 10,000 pixels tall. Yeah, not bad. But then does it make it any difference? Let's check on Lightroom. We got here on the left the original one and on the right the one enhanced by Photoshop and Camera Raw. So let's do it 100% there and 50% here. Okay, so now if you're a good observer, you're gonna say, okay, the one on the right is definitely a little bit sharper, but look at this picture on the left, it's just insane. But let's go a little bit deeper. Let's do it 100% on the enhanced and 200% on the original one and see the difference. Okay, so now we're talking. So if you happen to have a Leica instead of a Canon T3i like me, you're good to go to crop 200% if you want using this feature. 
All right, guys, hope this helps to understand how to use this feature and when it can be useful. Pop your questions and suggestions in the comments section below. I always take a look at it. And if you suggest something cool, it can become a video really soon. So I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.